Hi, my name is John Drux. Welcome to my website, livecalf.com. Everything you see on this website, I've done myself. From building the website, to taking all the videos, using a small digital camera. I'm hoping someone sees the talent on this website and wants me to do it professionally. The first thing you see is a series of documentary commentary. I'm hoping someone sees my talent as a business writer, as a problem solver. If you want to know who John Drux is, look under people on my website. The first videos you see are on John Drux, who he is, what he's done. When I was a senior at Fresno State University, my business writing professor, Harvard Business School PhD, told me I was the best business writer he ever saw. Why I never pursued a career in writing, I'm not sure. And most of the people I see on TV these days have written books. One, I don't have the money to write a book, and two, is I'm not so sure people have the time to sit down and read a book. I'm hoping they'll watch some videos. Also, what you see on my website is music videos, a collection of talent I've found, and again, using a small digital camera. If your computer doesn't have sound, I suggest using headphones or using a, what, what's called a line and put it into a boombox, something that's made for playing music, but hopefully your computer has sound. I believe there's a lot of talent on my website, and I'm hoping someone sees, sees it and wants to do it professionally. The first part of my website is commentary, documentaries. The first one called Change, something we were promised in 2008, something we're not seeing a lot of. It's now 2012 and this country's in a lot of trouble and it's just politics as usual. Nothing's getting done. Again, the voters in 2008 voted for change and in 2010, had a change of heart. Voted in the Republicans again. And are blocking everything our Democratic president wanted, wants to do. It, it's pretty much as simple as that. Politics as usual, nothing gets done. So again, change. Are a collection of my ideas what we can change in this country to make it a better place. That, that's the reason I'm doing this. Again, anytime you talk about change, it's controversial. And people ask me why I'm doing this. It's because I want to see change. And who better to tell a story than a real estate broker in Fresno, California, who is living all the, or at least I see every problem right before my very eyes. And again, I'm a problem solver. In my previous career with Marriott Hotels, I was an auditor, night manager, manager on duty, and a director of security, director of loss prevention. I'm able to look at things and say, how can we fix it? I'm hoping to get involved in a political campaign. I believe this country, in the year 2012, needs a third party. A collection of Democrats and Republicans all working together. Americans working together to solve the problems this country has. Right now, April 2012, our choices are 
on the Republican side, what I believe is the poster child of the 1%. If you want to know what the 1% looks at like, look at their candidate, the Republican front-running front candidate. A guy who has a lot of money offshore, ships jobs offshore, cuts jobs, has to file a tax extension because I'm sure his taxes are so complicated and he ends up not having to pay his fair share. Yet he wants to cut taxes even further for people like him, the 1%. Then we have our existing president and through some of the videos. I, I would still like to support our president because I believe it's the American thing to do. You support your president as long as he's the president and when the election comes up is when you have a decision to make whether to support your president any further or do you want change? Do you want someone else? And that's why I believe we need a third party in the year 2012 and wake up the Democrats and Republicans saying basically the party's over, either you're going to change or we're going to change you. And again, it would be a collection of Democrats and Republicans and Libertarians, conservatives, all joining together and come up with solutions that work for the majority. Not for the 1%, for the majority of Americans. I believe the problems that this country faces aren't that difficult to solve, or at least try to solve them, if everyone worked together. So again, change is the, is the main focus of this website. I would like to get involved in the political campaign of a third party. I, I think we should call it the United States Party, us. Let's take care of us for once. The second documentary commentary is called People. I've mentioned it before, saying the first video is on John Drux. And it kind of goes with two, as if you're going to talk about anybody, you should talk about yourself too. And it goes with if you're going to change anything, you need to change people. People are the, are the reason for all our problems. All our problems in the United States of America are man-made. People have figured out a way around the system. People don't live by one set of rules. They find ways to live by two sets of rules, and the people willing to break the rules and make new rules are the ones that prosper Why? The rest of us basically fail. Again, I'm a real estate broker in Fresno, California, and my life's been turned upside down by the real estate market. And it's from what people did. They used fraudulent, and I use that, I, I had to think a minute because I, I, I don't want to state anything too strong, but again, fraudulent business practices to put people into homes they couldn't afford. I'm a real estate broker in Fresno, California. I could have done loans during the height of the market, and I thought about it, but I knew what was going on, and I wouldn't participate. I was a seller's agent, but I saw plenty of people buying these houses that had no business buying these houses. Two words were used on the way up. Stated income. Stated income loans. I believe every person, especially on any kind of government-backed loan, now that the taxpayer is responsible for, anyone that used a stated income loan, they need to be looked at. Because either, one, they didn't make enough money to qualify for that loan, or two, they were making money 
that they weren't reporting on their taxes. And now all the taxpayers are on the hook why a few of the people prospered doing these bad loans, why now all of us are on the hook for it. I've lost my job, my business, and basically all my value because of the housing market. There has been no recovery in the housing market because of the short sale superstar, another person that I talk about on people. So again, on the way up in the housing market, stated income loans, two words. On the way down, and any lack of recovery is also related to two words, subject to. For almost five years now, real estate brokers have been advertising home prices on short sales, subject to. For over five years, I've been saying, if a real estate broker is going to advertise a price, they need to know they can sell for that price. But yet, two sets of rules in the multiple listing service, lack of enforcement of any rules, has allowed subject to pricing for over five years, which in my opinion has destroyed my life, basically. And many lives. Again, John Drux lives in Fresno, California, a place with between 17 and 20 percent unemployment, and it doesn't call people like me. And believe me, there's plenty of people like me, real estate people, loan people, appraisers, all self-employed, independent contractors. They're not counting in these numbers. I'm guessing the unemployment rate in the Center Valley of California is between 30 and 35 percent, and that's probably a conservative number. Because again, people like me aren't counted. The last documentary commentary on my website for now is called The Short Sale of the American Dream. Because again, the American dream's been shattered. I'm not sure if it'll ever recover. I'm hoping it does, because when it comes down to it, the housing market is the backbone of the U.S. economy. The U.S. economy will not recover until the U.S. housing market recovers. Right now, there are signs that we may have recovery in our future but we need to get rid of subject to pricing. And again, I'm a real estate broker, so I like to talk about real estate the most because that's what I'm most qualified to speak about. But again, I have a lot of ideas. I'm hoping someone looks at them. I'm hoping a third party looks at them and wants me to work for them. The last thing you see on my website is music videos. I believe there's a lot of talent on my website. A lot of it's from the Fresno, California area. I'm not, so, I'm not sure why there's so much talent in Fresno, but there is. Especially to the sounds of the 60s and 70s. So again, if you ever get tired of listening to John Drucks talk, listen to some of the music on here. There's also talent that I found over on the Central Coast and in Southern California. But again, the majority of the artists are from the Fresno area. And I'm hoping to use this talent as part of a political campaign. Nothing attracts people more than music. And I've actually, the last page of my website is acoustic, for acoustic music, because that's my idea for political rallies is bringing in an acoustic guitar player. And for whatever reason, the songs of the 60s and 70s, there's nothing like it, and especially on acoustic. It, it gives the, the songs a whole new sound. 
in my opinion, there's almost a whole new meaning. It's one person out there, or maybe two, but singing, playing, doing it all themselves. And I'm, my hope is, is by doing it acoustically, you don't need permits and all the stuff that goes along with having a concert. You're just having a, a rally with an acoustic guitar player. So, again, welcome to livecalf.com. I hope you enjoy it. Again, everything you see on this website I've done myself using a small digital camera. I know the quality is not that great, but again, it's just to display talent. I want someone for me to do this professionally and in the year 2012 I wanted to be part of a political campaign to bring the change we were promised and I believe that's through a third party. The Republicans got us in this mess and the Democrats have failed to fix it. It's time for us to come together and fix the problems. Have a great day and excuse me why I turn off my camera.